Hi, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to create a nav menu element that links to the middle of one of your pages, that links to content that's somewhere in the middle of one of your pages. So to do this, we're going to use anchors, which are one of the oldest concepts on the web. Uh, an anchor is something on your page that you can link to. So here we've got this page, and if I want to link down to this second section. I can write a link up here and an anchor down here and the link takes you straight down to the anchor. So let me show you first how that works. Uh, here's this page, here's the HTML for it. And we just link to this little pound sign. That means ID and then the thing with the ID of second section. Now let's actually find our anchor. This is our second section item. You can see it's an H2. That's the type of HTML tag it is. And then its ID is second section. And the fact that it's got this ID makes it an anchor. It means that anything that points to this little hash second section thing is going to link to this anchor on the page. So that's how we got this. We've got this link, and when we click it, it takes you down to this anchor. Now, how do we do that in our nav menu? How do we put something into our nav that we can click and it takes us not to the top of this page, but it takes us to the second section on this page. So I'm going to go to the customizer. I'm going to go to menus. You can see the nav we've got. We've got a home page and the page that we're currently on, the page that we're working with. And what we want to do is we want to remember the name, the ID of this anchor that we're looking for. It's, so it's second section. And then we want to get the URL of the page that we're currently on, which is test page. And we're going to create a custom link because we're writing this out ourselves. A custom link you can link to anywhere. You could link it to Google, and your nav menu would link to Google. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to link to this page, and we're going to link specifically to the second section anchor on that page. So everything's the same in terms of like the site, the page. Then we add this hash, meaning look for the ID, look for the anchor whose ID is. Then we give it the ID, second section. So let's add this to the menu. I'll go ahead and make it like a little drop down of this test page. I'm going to publish it. Let's reload here. Now we've got our drop down. And You'll see it say, takes us straight to that second section. Even if we're on the home page, which is a completely different page, and we look in the nav menu, go to the second section, it still takes us to the second section of this test page. And the last thing I'm going to do is show you this in an incognito window, because I want to show you uh, how the scrolling works if you don't have that black admin bar uh, along the top. You can see that it takes you sort of straight where this, this element is like straight right at the top of the, of the window. So we go test site home page. If we click on test page, um, well, it looks like this is because of this theme, this isn't active. This parent thingy is no longer active. But if we click on the child, we go to second section and it shows up right at the top of the page. So that's how you create a nav menu element that links to the middle of one of your pages and not, uh, not only to the top. Thanks for watching.